Media Bros. Hi! Hello world, this is Roxy Bree, another episode of Character Review in 2. The show where I review characters who are not very popular, especially to the people who do not read comics. And in that format, I review characters who are relevant to the new movies or content that are being released soon. Look everyone, I'm geeked. Well, geek's not the word, uh, excited, uh, instatic. Bruh, I don't even know what to say I am. Thor, that's all I gotta say, man. That's all I gotta say. The Thor Ragnarok trailer is upon us, ladies and gentlemen, and I gotta say, I've never been this excited for a Thor movie. I'm so excited about the movie, I almost wanna go over the trailer shot from shot. Okay, I will. Anyway, the scene starts with Thor dropping from the sky, wrapped around in some kind of random chain, right? And then some woman walks up. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, you could probably just go watch the trailer for yourself. I mean, you should. It's a good trailer. Anyway, let's get to the point of why I'm making this video. The purpose of this video is to cover who is that woman who seemingly catches Thor hammer and shatters it to a million pieces. Well, that woman is none other than Hela, goddess of death. But anyway, kick back for the next few minutes and let's learn about Hela, goddess of death. Hela first appeared in Journey into Mystery number 102 in March 1964. She was created by Stan Lee and drawn by Jack Kirby. Originally a part of the Norse myths, Stan Lee adopted Hela and merged her origins into the Marvel Universe. Hela was born in a place called the Land of the Giants. During her youth, she was appointed to many tasks due to being the daughter of Loki. When she came of age, Odin deemed her goddess of death, giving her ruling over the dead. This also gave her control over two of the nine realms of Asgardian lore, Hel and Niflheim. However, not satisfied, Hela often tries to take over the the dead who are in Valhalla. Valhalla is the spiritual place where warriors are sent after being honorably slain in battle. This often leads into skirmishes with Odin and Thor. In the comics, she is often depicted as trying to steal others' souls, and she will ultimately team up with other villains like her father Loki to do so. However, one of the biggest roles of Hela is her involvement to bring the Ragnarok. Do so, she plotted with Loki to slay the god Baldr and summon an army to attack Asgard. To do this, Hela has many abilities at her disposal she uses. She uses a substantial amount of black magic in which she can alter and cast spells that are dark in nature. She also has a teleportation ability that could take her anywhere she needs to go, provided that the area is not warded against her. Hela also possesses superhuman strength, stamina, and durability. On top of that, she is actually a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, and also like all Asgardians, she is resistant to magic. When she is wearing her cloak, her powers are greatly heightened. The cloak is what also gives Hela her youth. Without the cloak, she reverts back to her true form, where one half of her body is beautiful and the other half is dying and decaying. In this form, she is very weak and barely able to move. Hela is always armed with the Night Sword, which is a weapon she uses proficiently. So what are your thoughts on Hela? Let me know in the comment section below about what you thought about this review and what you thought about Hela and what did you think about the Thor trailer and to tell me how excited you are to finally see Hawk again. I think for me that was probably my favorite part of the trailer when Thor actually sees Hawk and he's just like, yes! He's like so excited to see Hawk because they're always fighting and stuff like that so you know with Thor's nature, he just loves a good brawl, so with the Hulk, he knows that it's gonna be a good fight. He like turns to the crowd and like, yeah, yeah, hey, I know him, we're friends. Everybody in the crowd just looking around like, what's what's going on in here? <laughs> that, that was that was what made the whole uh, trailer for me. Getting teary eyed just thinking about it. Now getting back to Hela, I wonder just how powerful she's actually gonna be in this movie. Considering in fact in the comics she's actually Loki's daughter, I wonder if they're gonna play on that a lot in a movie. A lot of times production companies change up that stuff, so I hope they don't do it in this aspect. Anyway everybody, that's Character Review in 2. I'm Roxy from Media Bros. As always, let me know in the comments below who I should do next Sunday. That's right people, requests are wanted. So leave your requests in the comment section below and I will read them. Will I do them? That's another story. Anyway, everybody, I'm Roxy once again. Thank you all for watching. You all have a lovely day and take it easy. See ya.